uniforms for their school safety liaisons and staff in this position usually work to support um, school administration in de-escalating VOA child situations and assisting with investigations, drills, um, and serving as active assailant instructors and in conducting safety and security surveys. In a family reading of education kit. I'm just curious just so the family reunification kit as provided by the I Love You Guys Foundation, I believe if you look um, at their application, they have you know pictures of all of the different things that are um, required, but part of it um, you know has to do with um, you know reflective vests, um, you know, batteries, just anything that's needed in case of an emergency. Um, they, you know, again, it's based on recommendations from the I Love You Guys. In terms of the specific um, items that will be purchased, um, if you look on the page two of their uh, reunification supplies, um, it lists some examples of what they would require. And again, it involves different kinds of um, items, so fetch cards, studies, signage, liners, and uh, safety vests, which I already um, mentioned. And uh, page three has all of the- uh, uh, I was just thinking, it sounds like something I should have in my cart. <laughs> <laughs> um, would someone like to make a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Seconded. Seconded. Maybe. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes. I just wanted to make a clarification since since uh, Ms. Corshi was doing a great job of explaining what was sought in here, but I just wanted to make it abundantly clear that MCSS is not endorsing or otherwise uh, promoting the I Love You Guys Foundation in any way that just happens to be the vendor that was referenced within the um, application kit. Thank you for the from, the, from the school system. Yeah. Okay. So the next application is Howard County Public Schools. Uh, they are requesting to use their funding to purchase three new laptops for the Howard County Public School Office of of safety and security uh, central office staff who also support individual schools. The equipment will be assigned to the planning and program manager, risk management specialist, and the security officer. And the computers will be used for security camera footage monitoring and incident investigations for activities that occur on school property. They're also looking to purchase and replace radio frequency identification badges for Howard County Public Schools employees, and they are looking to use part of the funding to replenish Office of Safety and Security Emergency Management Inventory. Um, items needed includes weather radios, emergency radios, megaphones, safety vests, flashlights, trauma kits, and fire retardant spray cans. Someone like to make a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Do you have a second? I'll second. For all of a second. Any Thank other you. discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes. And so the next application is from Kent County Public Schools. They are requesting 9,376 of their $25,000 allocation to purchase and install additional security cameras at their Galena Elementary School. Um, they're also looking to purchase new desktop computer to help monitor IP camera system. And the equipment will be used primarily by the school resource officer assigned to Kent County High School. Um, finally, they're looking to purchase and replace the network video recorder at four Kent County schools, and this will replace the old system, which is no longer being supported by their current system. We have a motion to approve. Colonel Jones. Motion to approve. So that's second. Seconded. <laughs> Any 
Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The abstention motion passes. All right, so the next application on the list is from Queen Anne's County Public Schools. They are looking to use all of your $25,000 allocation on two different projects. Um, the first one is to upgrade to a new version of the emergency management suite platform. The upgrade will support all 16 uh, school facilities and uh, locations. The previous version uh, based on the application uh, will no longer be supported by the vendor. Um, they are also looking to purchase and install blackout curtains for the interior and exterior doors at all eight um, elementary schools. And this includes replacing um, damaged interior door curtains at some of the schools. Now, the overall cost that was presented is slightly above the $25,000 allocation. And so Finance County Public Schools will supplement the additional costs not covered by the grant. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, first question is, when did they purchase the original system? And uh, second one is why it's not still supported or cannot be um, upgraded through a normal process rather than replaced. So, uh, Mr. Gorilla, just in looking at the application, it does not state here exactly when the um, old system was purchased. Um, again, that's information I can definitely follow up with the school system and get for the sub cabinet. Yeah. But the, the vendor that they're using is no longer supporting the original system. Right. Um, so I, I guess I would wonder why go with the same vendor again if they, they got the system two years ago, or, you know, as an example. So something to follow up on. Yes, sir. Have a second one. What about the second question? So we're up. Uh, yeah, I, I can, I, I'm not going to support this, uh, this purchase without more information. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would uh, be happy to receive more information afterwards and, and uh, for a, and, and if you would care, Mr. Chair, and uh, support or vote in a, uh, uh, in a, in a post meeting uh, type of uh, rolling, uh, or however you would like to do it, um, motion and, and vote. Um, just to, just want to clarify. So with respect to the local school systems procurements, um, there are decisions related to vendors and who they are or are not choosing to use is different than the way we may do it at the state, right? They of course. Are, they have their own uh, system for doing that. So, um, you know, within the application, Queen Anne's County has, for whatever reason that they're entitled to have decided that yeah. they are choosing this vendor um, to, to, to continue with, um, and we can't speculate as to why. Um, so the question is whether this is to be approved now or whether you would require your questions to be addressed first, and then we bring this back at a subsequent meeting for a motion to approve at that later date. Um, Mr. Chair, I, 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 I'm looking at it through the eyes of state investment. I understand that local can do whatever they want um, as far as their investment goes. Um, we, we, very, we scrutinize uh, investments uh, through the Interagency Commission on any expenditure, uh, typically 15 years, but of course on software related things, it can be less. Um, I just don't know if these systems were even available three years ago. So I'm just, I, it just hit me wrong whenever I looked at it. So um, I, again, I would be happy to vote uh, out in between meetings because I know we're only having them every quarter if, uh, if the director and the, and the chair could see a way to do that. But I, I can't support without understanding this. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, maybe I can ask a clarifying question that might help address this. Um, Ms. Korshi, do you know whether or not the Navigate 360 platform that they're discussing in their application, is that a hardware-based platform or is that a software as service which requires updated subscription based on technology changes? It is a software-based uh, 
use. Okay, so this would be more akin, would it not, to something like Microsoft Suite when you have to update your Office 365 because it only works with certain um, other systems, is that right? Right, so this okay. is to integrate their platform, and okay. right now they do not have that system. So again, our understanding is that they are transitioning from a system that no longer works into a software-based system okay. which allows them to integrate their services. Okay, does that help clarify any of that, Mr. Gurrell? Um, I'm sorry, not for me. If it's the same okay. vendor, okay. Um, typically Microsoft is a, is a good example. We are looking at 365 and we didn't jump at it whenever we first use it, but we're still able to use wow. all of our Windows suite and by upgrading that. So I'm, I'm wondering, you know, what is the benefit and what is the expense? And maybe they, they've already done. I just would like to know, uh, maybe there'll be other vent or other LEAs that want to do the same. I would ask the same question. Uh, I'm able to check if the other members yes, of the absolutely. Would, like, would like more information or would someone like to make a motion to pull? We can, we can wait on this and pull it. That requires votes. So, correct. You can make a motion to table okay. the vote. You can make a motion to approve, but right now there's not a pending motion. Okay. So um, it's, it's the chair's pleasure. I would make all. a motion to table it. Thank you, okay. Mr. Chair. Okay, so we have a motion to table. Can I ask a clarifying question? Yes. Okay, um, just very quickly, with respect to the motion to table, it's granted. Um, when would this say the response, would get a response back within the, within the week? When can the board move on? The next meeting or is I think uh, Mr. Gorell was indicating that there may be an interim way for the board to consider the prior to the next meeting. Is, is that there, something that's done? Is yeah, I mean, that, that gets trickier in terms yeah. of the open meetings. Can you have a discussion? Right. No, not without calling a special meeting. So, right. so the expectation is going to be, we'll, we'll talk about it at the next meeting. Everywhere. Mr. Right. Chair, could I, could I, um, I think I'm trying to understand this. Um, I didn't realize that you could not uh, do a, uh, a, a rolling question to the, to the members. I would withdraw the tabling. I'd make a motion to pass um, contingent on sufficient uh, supporting information being provided to the, uh, um, to the committee. Yes. With the contingency. Yes, okay. because the, 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 as I understand the motion, as you phrased it, you are not requesting the ability to change the vote dependent upon the information received. So it is simply that we will provide additional information once the center has had the opportunity to speak to Queen Anne's County Public Schools regarding getting those additional answers for you. But that the- Well, I, I, I certainly, based upon sufficient information supporting it. So if I got information, they got it uh, two years ago and paid this amount for it, that probably would not be sufficient okay. information for me, just to clarify. I, okay. I would like to pass to, to make a motion based upon qualifying information that is sufficient to support it. The problem is then you would then be undoing potentially if you are or not would, satisfied. Oh, so oh. then I, I, I'm going to time, I'm going to hit the timeout button because there was a motion to table this. That was not seconded. Is there a second for that motion? If not, the motion dies. He said he withdrew it, though. So. You withdrew it. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that. Okay, so that's off the table. So now the question is, is there a motion to approve without ability to rescind it later that someone would like to make? Can I see? I'm going to make a motion to approve. We have a second. Seconded by Secretary Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. God bless you, Colonel Jones. <laughs> All opposed? All opposed? Are you abstaining? I am abstaining, Mr. Chair. Okay. I'm just making sure because we felt like we Thank were talking about Any abstentions? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough information, so I don't want to oppose it. I believe we had enough. Yes, for the yes, you did. Thank you. Can't always tell what's out there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. 
Yes, sir. So the next application is from Somerset County Public Schools. They're requesting to use it to uh, pull $25,000 uh, to expand their CCTV network by purchasing 26 additional cameras and 42 imagers to be installed at the Princess Anne Elementary School. And uh, Somerset County Public Schools will supplement the cost of the project through local budget. I would make a motion to, in, to pass, Mr. Chair. Mr. Durham makes a motion to approve. We have a second from Mr. Pottinger. Um, do we have any further discussions? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? <coughs> any abstentions? None. Motion passes. Next application is from St. Mary's County Public Schools. They're requesting to use the uh, full $25,000 to contract for online training services and in-person training for its school staff for the purpose of being able to identify, report, and reduce incidents of concern related to student mental health and suicidal uh, tendencies. They're also uh, looking to implement the GAGO platform which was funded in fiscal year 21 uh, with your state schools fund. And the system is designed to monitor online activities of students using school assigned educational platforms. Through this platform, SNCPS identified a substantial number of incidents of concern, which includes violence towards self, incidents of suicide, incidents of self-harm, and incidents of violence towards others. SNCPS will provide evidence-based suicide prevention training to its school-based staff. And the objectives for the training include increasing staff understanding of mental health risks for school-aged children, recognizing and reporting students in crisis, tri triaging students reporting self-harm or threatening behaviors for appropriate initial response to prevent harm, and finally, providing referral services to students reporting self-injuries or threatening behaviors for appropriate follow-up. Um, and so these are uh, different projects that they're looking to use their uh, Safe Schools Fund for, primarily, again, to provide training and also to upgrade their GAGLE platform, which was funded in this year. Can I ask you a question? What is a gaggle? What is, I should know it as much. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, there's merging software that monitors students' uh, behavior while they're right. surfing the web. And if they're searching for cutting or searching for other things, um, mm -hmm. then they would flag it. And then the school system staff would uh, zone in, hone in on that student and support them. Right. And then I guess what they're asking here is what is, is uh, to train those persons who's getting Get, you're getting that data, yeah. how to respond appropriately. You know. yeah. That's great. And that type of training is required by the education article for all schools to implement um, and have to be completed on an annual basis by December 1st. So, uh, there's a powerful stat in the second phase of site. Like, since initiating the GABA platform in January 2021, CCPS has received a total of 1,879 reports of concern regarding content on student accounts. There have been 184 incidents of violence towards self, 24 incidents of suicide, 9 incidents of self harm, and 80 incidents of violence towards others. We'll have a motion to approve. I would have a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Uh, second. Any further discussions? None. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? None. Motion passes. Okay. So the next application is from Talbot County Public Schools. They will be using their Safe Schools Fund grant to administer Post-quarter defense training. Again, we are not promoting any vendor uh, 
um, over another. This is what was contained in the application. Now this tr training focuses on de-escalation and how to identify and report behaviors of concern within the school environment. Um, the training will be administered to five TCPS security staff, as well as 40 other school personnel, and will take place over two days. The cost breakdown is included on the overview sheet, and uh, TCPS will supplement the additional cost of training that is not covered by the grant. Motion to approve. Thank you. We have a second. Second. Seconded. Any further discussion? None. All in favor? Aye. Uh, are we tracking the assignment? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Colonel yeah, Jones. Yes. Are you approving this? Pending motion? Yes. Oh, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. All opposed? Any abstentions? None. Motion passes. Next request is from Washington County Public Schools. They're requesting to use the Safe School Fund Grant uh, for fiscal year 22 to administer various mental and behavioral health training. Uh, the categories covered will include professional development, community engagement, and mental health resources. So for their professional development project, part of the funding will be used to cover overtime pay for school-employed mental health staff to participate in training to address behavioral and emotional challenges within the classroom. Uh, WCPS will also contract with the with this subject matter expert to speak to school employed mental health staff as part of the overall professional development training and part of the funding will be used to pay for registrations for this training. Um, WCPS will also host a mental health fair to promote awareness of mental health needs and to connect various entities who provide mental health services. WCPS will use part of the funding to provide transportation to mental health appointments for students who have families without access to transportation. And finally, they will be using part of the funding to procure therapeutic resources to support school employed mental health staff with their efforts to decrease behavioral and mental health challenges. And I would also add that this is a program that WCPS has been undertaken with this funding since fiscal year 19. Um, and they, I have to just give them a prompt. They do very well in executing this project um, and they're very diligent in their reporting um, as well. A motion to approve. Colonel Jones, next motion to approve. Thank you, I have a second. Second here. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Any abstentions? Motion passes. Two more to go. So the last but one is from Wicomico County Public Schools. They are requesting to use their safe schools fund grant allocation for uh, three different projects. So the first one is to purchase four Motorola radios for school staff to use during the school day, as well as during after school events. Uh, they're also looking to purchase backpack tags and parent pickup tags for students and their parents. These tags will help school staff easily identify which students are walkers, bus riders, or car riders during dismissal. And the student backpack tags will be coordinated with the parent uh, pickup tag to make dismissal um, easier. They are also looking to purchase hats for their school crossing guards. And uh, these high visibility reflective safety clothing for crossing guards will help ensure their safety as well as promote safe routes for students who walk to and from school. Someone who's new to Maryland, I appreciate reflective because it's dark with all these trees. <laughs> so, I see the importance of it. Uh, 
Uh, do we have a motion to approve? We have a motion here, Mr. Buckner. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Any further discussions? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? Being none, motion passes. And the last application is from Worcester County Public Schools. They are requesting to use the full $25,000 for two projects. The first one is to purchase and install security cameras and access control system in four middle schools and high schools throughout the county. Um, the estimated cost of the project is $714,000 and will be funded using various grants provided at the federal and state level. They're also looking to administer a student social emotional learning school climate survey. And this is a one-time subscription service, which will allow Worcester County, which will allow Worcester County to assess students' social and emotional health. The survey is administered at least twice a year, per year, and the results from the survey will help inform uh, Worcester County Public School teachers, counselors, school administration, and other stakeholders about the outcomes. Um, and the results will also help Worcester County Public School develop specific intervention programs to address each area of concern uh, that's identified in the survey. So I'd like to make a motion to approve. A motion to approve, do we have a second? Yeah, Bob Gorel, I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Gorel. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Any abstentions? All right, motion passes. Okay. Miss, Mr. 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 Chair. Um, you only have one more left. No, yeah, okay, good enough. I'll, I'll do that one and then come back. I'm just kidding. You have unlimited questions. Yes, Mr. Bernard. Yes, Mr. Bernard. Thank you. Well, I'm, uh, on, I'm sorry. I was going to go back. I thought we were done. On, uh, so I'll wait. Thank you. Okay. We'll move on to the Last next time. Yep. Um, so we did email this to you. We did not send you the, the full, I didn't, we didn't print out the full copy to save some trees, um, but you received the annual uh, report for the center, which is a report that the sub cabinet is required to submit. Um, and we will obviously do that on your behalf, uh, pending approval. There is one thing on page nine, there is something I wanted to bring up um, that I, we think is pretty important. Um, so in addition to all the good work that everybody has done, so just for some context, we typically have 15 uh, staff. We are down to 10 right now. So we have 10 individuals um, currently working on every initiative that we have. As you can see from uh, Gifty who presented today, she is the only person managing grants right now. Uh, Sandy is the only person um, managing the tip line on the back end. Um, and speaking of Sandy, mm -hmm. uh, on page nine, which you do have one sheet in front of you, um, we are very proud uh, that this year, the Police Training Commission awarded Sandy um, an honorary, uh, hold on, I'm gonna get it wrong. I'm gonna yell at the Non-Academy Instructor of the Year honoree. So she got a, a nice trophy. Unfortunately, the meeting could not be held. So we're presenting it to her here in front of all of you. <laughs> <laughs> and beyond that, it's just an approval of the annual report is submitted. Uh, unless you have any changes you'd love to see. Do I have a motion to approve the annual report? So we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second it. All right. Any further discussions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes. 
you have anything else? Would you like to share anything else, Mr. Brown? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I wanted to ask uh, back on Washington County, and um, I don't. I, I'm sorry, I did not look at the report ahead of time. I didn't know I'd received it, and I, I apologize. I didn't check check it this morning. And I on some of the follow up items we had, um, for instance, uh, Baltimore City and the and I know COVID got in the way um, of uh, the use and implementation of the metal detectors. Um, we had asked, and I think the board supported kind of a follow-up on how that was implemented in the success. And um, so I, do we have a list of those items that uh, that the board had asked or followed up on? We, we can definitely put those together and um, send them out. There are obviously with the, the limited in-person instruction the last two years. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. You know, we don't have the information yeah. I think that the sub cabinet was looking for yeah, yeah. Uh, yet. Uh, but once, you know, this is the first full school year where we're going to be in person, thankfully. So we will we will get the follow ups for the February meeting. Th thank you, Kate. Yeah, I, we've been using 2019 for yeah. our for our enrollment, too, because they just the, the others don't matter. Um, uh, and then on Washington uh, County. Um, so on the expenditure of overtime pay of ten thousand dollars, there's there's not really a, a listing of how they're going to spend it is there any kind of accounting so that we kind of have an idea of what this training uh costs and you probably know where i'm going i've asked that if there's significant expenditures can we develop a we've had several training programs today that we've approved can some of them be developed into maryland training programs and maybe unique to maryland um at a lesser cost and and easier availability to the leas so specific to the $10,000, that is overtime pay for the teachers to be able to take uh, these training programs because outside of it, if they do register for these programs, then they will be undertaking a, a project for the school system where their hours are not remunerated. So this is to pay for their time to be able to take the training. I see. So it, it, it's this is not uh, time that would be normally within their contract um, right. and has to be compensated in addition to their their teaching contracts. That's correct. And it's over an 18 month span. Uh, so September 2021 through December 2022. So it's for the remainder of this school year and into the first half of next school year. And then do they do they have to in order to receive that amount do they is it a reimbursable or do they get the funding um, regardless. So as far as NCSS is concerned, all of our uh, awards are based on reimbursable basis. So Thank you. actual project will have to be undertaken before we provide funding. Okay, and so if those type of funds could sit there unused for 18 months then for potentially. If the training is not conducted, yes, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chair. No other questions. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Um, our next meeting is on February 14th. Mm -hmm. um, February 14th. <laughs> 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 I just realized that. Um, and so 2022, uh, we'll see you guys then. In the meantime, if you have any questions and signs, please reach out to Kate. Um, do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. Jerry. Okay. <laughs> motion to adjourn from the Colonel. Um, second. Do I have a second? Do you have a second? All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extension, say none. <laughs> Motion passes. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good to see everyone. Thank you. Good to see you guys.